end. Uh, the countdown is uh, down to zero. So good afternoon, everyone, and thank you very much for joining us. Uh, it is a true pleasure to welcome all of you to our very first live product release webinar. So whether you are already a Tanabo user or uh, you are not yet familiar with our platform, we are very, very happy to have you with us today. And we are very excited to share this moment with you all after months of research and development. So I'll allow my, myself to start with a little introduction. Uh, my name is Paula. I work for the customer success department here at Chanabo, and I will be your host uh, for this webinar. I joined the company a bit over three years and a half ago, and uh, I have been helping marketing agencies and all advertisers in general uh, to boost their online presence, also to be in control of their advertising strategy, but mostly uh, taking the time to understand exactly what is it that they need to succeed and how can we help them in doing so. But as you can see here, I'm not alone today. Uh, my colleague, my colleague Jochem is joining me. Uh, he's part of our product team. And of course, uh, I will give him the mic to introduce himself a little bit as well. Yeah, thanks, Paula. Uh, my name is Jochem, indeed. Uh, I work in the product team, especially in the ads team of Chernobyl. And um, yeah, our team worked uh, on Amazon ads uh, for over the past uh, year. So it's really, really a big new project that we're uh, launching today. Really excited about it. Um, and yeah, it's not just uh, just a new feature that we offer. It's a whole um, new product indeed. And we're really expanding now into the retail media, uh, into retail media. And we have big plans for it that I want to show you as well at the end of this uh, presentation after the demo, of course. So uh, looking forward to that. Thank you very much, Jochem. Uh, so now that we've gotten to know each other a bit more, uh, let's see what we have in our agenda for today's webinar. Uh, as you can see here, first, uh, we are going to talk about the shift that has taken place in terms of consumer behavior uh, and also the challenge that this is creating for online sellers. We are also going to see how do we address this from uh, the channel perspective and what is it that we offer in order to help you overcome these challenges? And as Joachim just mentioned, we will end the webinar with a demo of our brand new Amazon Ads functionality, and there will be some time for uh, a Q&A. But uh, before we dive into this, uh, we also uh, love to get your, uh, to know our audience a bit more. Uh, so let's kick it off with a quick and small poll. Uh, here we have uh, the first question. Uh, so what best describes your experience with Amazon advertising? I believe uh, you are getting now uh, the question in your uh, screens. So please, uh, I will give you a couple of minutes in order to, to answer this one. I see some people writing their answers on the chat. Uh, is that because you're not getting a pop up uh, in order to reply on your screens? No pop up. I see Julian. OK, in case. Oh, I see the pop-up is below the chat box. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Jeroen, for helping people find the poll. If it's really hard for you or you cannot find this pop-up or access the poll, uh, indeed write uh, your answers via the chat.
we'll give uh, another minute and we will round this one up and move to the next one. Perfect. Let's move to the next one then. I hope you all had time to answer the first one. The second one is, uh, as you can see here, what challenges are you facing with your current Amazon advertising efforts? This one is multiple choice, so feel free to choose the ones that uh, resonate with you the most. Okay, I think we can run this one up as well. Thank you for uh, for replying that. I hope everyone has the time to answer these ones uh, over the chat or via the poll. Uh, and now it's time to get started. Um, so in order to put things a bit in perspective, I'm going to start quickly talking about Chanavo as a tool. Uh, as you can see here, we are an all-in-one platform that integrates multiple solutions. So uh, you can see here, we offer feed management. Uh, so you can think of creating and optimizing feeds to connect them to platforms such as Google Shopping, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, et cetera. We also integrate uh, marketplaces connections in order for you to push your product listings to several marketplaces, one being Amazon, of course. Uh, we also have a PPC ad solution, uh, not only uh, for Amazon, but also for Google, so Google Ads. We also have a functionality that uh, retrieves uh, performance data from products and that we call insights and analytics. And last but not least, we have a creatives module that includes an image editor functionality. So all in all, Channable is a solution that uh, is intended to help both marketing agencies, but also brands and retailers that need a push in order to further expand their businesses online, but mostly leverage from manual work. And of course, in order to keep making the best of, of our products, we need to keep up with the latest uh, shopping trends and challenges that our customers are currently facing, right? So it's 2023, and uh, this year uh, we've embraced a world where shopping is possible everywhere, right? Uh, there has been a significant shift in the way people shop. And that is because technology and accessibility have advanced to a point where shopping can be done conveniently from a lot of locations and platforms. And this makes the whole shopping experience easier, but mostly way more widespread. So of course, this means that customers are no longer restricted to a single channel for their shopping needs. Uh, they will use a combination of channels to explore, research, and ultimately, make uh, their purchases and all this as well translates into consumers and customers having increasingly high expectations when it comes to their shopping experiences so another key shift in consumer behavior that we are seeing here is the expectation that the shopping experience should adapt and accommodate uh, their lives their lifestyles sorry rather than the other way around so we have a very customer centric approach here uh, in which businesses must cater to customer expectations and make shopping as convenient as possible. And in order to make 
uh, shopping as convenient and broad as possible, uh, consumers are not only using the more traditional search engines such as Google or the brand's website itself. Uh, we can see here they are now searching for their products in online marketplaces such as Amazon. Uh, and as uh, these numbers show here, uh, the, the figures are speaking by themselves. It is important to know also that uh, many consumers use Amazon not only as a merely shopping platform, but also as a product discovery and research tool. And it only makes sense because we all know Amazon is one of the largest online marketplaces globally. They offer huge selection of products across a ton of categories. And it also has an extensive database of customer reviews and ratings that it's really, really valuable for online shoppers. So this is all on the side of the consumer, but what happens on the side of advertisers, right? Uh, in order for brands and retailers to stay relevant and to catch up with all these consumer needs and shopping trends, uh, well, they should be considering already uh, or already be listing their products in marketplaces uh, such as Amazon, right? But of course, this is way easier said, said than done. So the challenge here is that in order to successfully list your products in a marketplace, there are quite a few things that you need to have covered. And we are gonna see a few here. The first one would be selling unique products. So think questions such as which products are currently being sold in the sector you belong to? Are there any gaps that you can fill in there? Or can you leverage uh, existing products by making improvements or customizing them in order to meet the needs of the consumers? Apart from uh, unique products, you need to take into account also dynamic pricing. So then again, in order to adapt to competition, market conditions, and customer behavior, so in the end to increase sales and profitability, brands and retailers need to consider applying real-time dynamic prices in marketplaces such as Amazon. We also have the reviews, and we've mentioned it before, right? Reviews of products are key for Amazon consumers, and it has a good impact on their buying decision. So advertisers need to keep up the good work when maintaining good review ratings. And last but not least, we have uh, quick fulfillment options. Similar to good reviews, uh, fast deliveries, and overall a good shipping experience will make customers way more likely to purchase a product. So sellers, again, need to make sure they manage all their logistics and their stocks uh, in the best way possible. And on top of these four things, there's still one thing that is key in order to succeed in marketplaces. And that is simply to stand out and to be seen among all those products that are present uh, in the marketplaces. And you might be wondering, OK, uh, what is it that I need to do in order to, to stand out, in order to not let my listings easily get lost uh, in the noise? So we see here there are two things uh, in which uh, a brand and retailer uh, can increase their visibility in marketplaces. On the left side, uh, by ensuring they have high quality product listings, for example, uh, by generating optimized titles, uh, including as much detail as possible there. Same can go for descriptions of products, as well as bullet points, for example. But let's not forget the topic uh, that bring us here today. And we have it on the right side of the screen, that it's Amazon as an advertising channel. So apart from all the listings, retailers also need to take care of Amazon ads. And of course, taking care of all these and for a bunch of products can be quite complex, but mostly really, really time consuming. Especially again on Amazon, where sellers need to be seen among a, long, a lot of competitors. 
Here again, we see some uh, numbers of active Amazon sellers in 2019. And again, uh, I think the figures speak uh, for themselves. But competition is not only uh, the only particularity in Amazon. Nowadays, if you search for a product in Amazon and you have a quick look at the results, you will soon realize that almost everything is becoming an ad there. And to keep up again with the competition, Amazon sellers need to constantly revise their strategies and their advertising efforts. And again, this becomes really, really time and resource intensive, especially when you are selling multiple products and or in multiple countries. So at Chanable, uh, we have heard our customers, we have heard their feedback and this that you can see here are some of the highlights that we have gotten. And they can be summarized under four main points. First one being control. So we have heard that when you do not have your campaigns uh, centralized in one place, it's really easy to lose control of them. Also manual work, it already popped up a few times during this webinar, setting up campaigns and monitoring everything manually is extremely time consuming. Another point here would be scalability. So again, as the number of products or the countries you want to target grows, it gets harder and harder to scale up all these processes manually. And last but not least, we also heard about budgets. Uh, so currently automation solutions for Amazon ads are pretty much on the expensive side. So as I said, we've heard our customers, but also we are taking into account all the new online shopping scene and the challenges that advertisers are facing. And that is why we have decided to incorporate an Amazon ad solution to our tool. So from now on, you will be able to create manage and automate your Amazon ad campaigns in Chanable. This means that you can now manage your campaigns in multiple countries by effectively handling a large number of products, keywords, ad groups, etc. So in short, our Amazon ads automation will streamline all these processes, saving you great time and effort, of course. And when I say that uh, we have decided to add Amazon to our tool, Amazon ads to our tool, it is because it was the missing piece uh, in the whole Amazon integration that we already offer. And I mentioned it a bit at the beginning as well. As you can see here, it is our approach uh, was what makes us different, right? We offer an end-to-end -end and all-in-one Amazon solution that will allow you to list your products while you also advertise them at scale, all in one platform. So now in order to deep dive into our Amazon Ads functionality and get to see what this has to offer, I'm gonna give uh, the floor to Jochem so that he can show you what he and his team have been working on hard in the past uh, few months. So floor is yours, Jochem. Yes, thanks, uh, thanks, Paula. Um, yeah, thank you. See my screen now. So before I want to dive into like what we actually offer, I want to um, say a small thank you to everyone that helped us with this because uh, Paula already mentioned we listened to, to our customers um, that we uh, heard the problems that you just saw on the screen. But um, it's actually really, really nice that a lot of those companies, I think in total like 30 agencies and retailers, uh, helped us with um, yeah, telling us their problems and helping us design the feature further. So thanks a lot for that. Um, so one thing I also uh, thought yeah, was, we got, was, was really clear basically that all those, um, from all those conversations we had with those agencies is that they um, often have uh, a campaign structure similar to what you see on the screen, uh, where you have multiple campaigns for each uh, individual product that you want to advertise. And they usually um, uh, start with an automatic campaign. And in that automatic campaign, uh, basically Amazon is trying which keywords and which product targets are working for your uh, product. 
And then later on, when you found uh, the right uh, keywords and product targets, you want to sort of move them to, to a manual campaigns with a broad uh, keyword targeting and exact keyword targeting because you want to spend uh, basically uh, most budget on keywords that work uh, really well for the ones that, that work. And the same basically for, for product targeting where you can uh, target uh, competitors' pages where you want to show your ads on. So yeah, you're basically an overview of, of the manual steps they usually uh, take for this. Um, also, of course, the keywords and product targets that uh, don't work well, you want to exclude them from your campaigns. Uh, so you don't want to spend uh, any uh, money on that. Um, and yeah, as you can see, this can be quite, uh, quite a challenge, especially if you have uh, a lot of products. Uh, because for example, if you have you sell like 100 products or you want to advertise on the products, you want to do that across uh, five different channels. Paula, I think you... sorry, Paula, is your uh, I see something else on the screen now. Uh, sorry, one moment. Anna, can you sorry. Is everything working well? Yeah. Yeah, I think okay. so. Sorry. I think I'm back. Sorry for that. Um, so yeah, basically um let's look at the next step. Uh, the next step here is also to uh, Optimize your bids for each keyword and for each product targeting, uh, product target. And as you can see, this is yeah, basically a lot of uh, can be a lot of work, especially if you sell like a hundred products uh, across five different uh, marketplaces, like Amazon Netherlands, Amazon US, Amazon Germany. Um, it can easily count up uh, to like thousands of campaigns, which is uh, yeah can be a mess, but it's also a pain to yeah, really optimize that by hand. So. That's why uh, tooling can be useful for that. And we made a really nice video explaining uh, what we've actually built. So uh, I'll show it right now. If you're selling on Amazon, you know advertising and fine tuning your strategies is a continuous task to get your products in front of Amazon shoppers. The problem is it's a time and resource intensive process, particularly for those selling multiple products in multiple countries. Channable's Amazon ad solution helps you to easily create thousands of ads for your product listings and optimizes your ad campaigns based on performance data at scale. Automation allows you to lay the foundation in just a few steps, generate high quality campaigns at scale, boost ads performance across items and offerings. Here's how. Channable's recommended mode. Decide which keywords or products to advertise and easily set up your Amazon ad structure with Channable's recommended mode. A campaign structure that's tested and built based on customer insights. Keyword harvesting. Our solution will automatically execute your setup and moves high and low performing keywords to the right campaigns based on performance data. If then rules. Get real time data on how your products are performing and optimize campaigns with our powerful rules. Amazon Ads has more impact when your listings are fully optimized. Channable offers all the tools to list, optimize, and advertise your products at scale, all from one platform. Visit us at www.channable.com. If you're selling on Amazon, I'm not playing it again. Um, so, yeah, really cool um, video, of course. And uh, also, great news. Um, I just got to hear from the team that it's uh, also activated now for everyone uh, in their accounts. Uh, you can basically see it under the, the shopping tab in the tool next to the, next to the Google Ads. But I will also show it to you uh, in the live demo. Um, but before I, I do that, I want to uh, mention that we currently also have a free trial for everyone that already is a general customer. And um, yeah, you can uh, share, uh, <laughs> make a picture of this uh, QR code, or uh, I think Anna will also share the link in the, in the chat if you want to make use of that. Um, I also want to highlight that for customers, uh, for um, users that are not currently a customer of Channel, um, we sort of have an always uh, own a free trial uh, for everyone to yeah, basically test out all Channel features for free, at least most of it. And you can also fully test uh, Amazon ads therein as well. The only limit you have there is that you cannot uh, push your campaigns to Amazon and get the performance data uh, back from, from Amazon. 
for that you need that to upgrade. Then let me switch to the live demo. Also, there is a question step in the, next to the chat. Uh, you can leave your questions there as you, uh, when they pop up. So the demo. Um, yeah, as mentioned, it's part. It's uh, shown next to the Google Ads and shopping ads part. And um, yeah, I already set up a demo environment here. Usually, this is of course empty, and you can add basically as many of those ad generators as you want. And it's really a good, a best practice that you um, create an ads generator for each uh, country or each uh, marketplace. Uh, from Amazon that you, you are active on. Uh, you can add a new one easily here. Um, either choose one that you already set up or, and then here you can see basically all the accounts that are connected to it. It can be a really long list if you're, if you're an agency or if you sell in multiple uh, countries. Um, what we also offer here is, if you click on add new connection, you also see the demo here. And um, yeah, this basically allows you to test the full feature without actually connecting your own Amazon account if you want to test it out um, before linking it or if you simply don't have an Amazon account. So since I already did all that uh, here, I'm skipping that part for now. Um, so I go straight into the settings um, of the generator that I made for the Netherlands. As you can see here, I did all the setup. You can activate or deactivate each uh, channel if you want. And then in the next step, you can um, yeah, basically uh, use the rules in general. Customers that are already uh, using general uh, know how powerful they are. But here I created a few examples. Um, and basically on this level uh, of the rules, you can basically um, yeah, select which products you want to advertise. So for example, here I made a simple rule that um, excludes uh, products that have a low stock. Um, I'm not really going to show all of them in detail, explaining how the rules work. We, we have really nice health center articles for that. And you can also uh, check the recording later on if you are interested in how I did this. Um, but yeah, to give some examples, here's another one that only um, that excludes uh, uh, Products that are where your most popular sites are out of stock. Here, another one that uh, for to exclude products with uh, less than 40% margin. You can boost new products. You can uh, boost products that have high stock, high margin items. Uh, do something specifically for a specific date, like Black Friday, or make it more dynamic. Um, and also, I have some more advanced rules here as well. For example, to calculate a daily budget uh, per product, which can be useful if, if you sell a lot of products, but you have a limited budget uh, to spend on. And another one for the uh, calculating the bid. And as you can see here, I created some dynamic values and I will uh, show them. I will use them later on in the campaign creation part where you can um, yeah, use it uh, and see it, see it in action. Besides, we also, it also works in combination with general insights. A small note here is that you need uh, basically an order connection for Amazon ads, and you need the, the Amazon ads, uh, also the, the uh, insights product for it as well. So it doesn't work out of the box in uh, the Amazon ads tool. But as you can see here, you can also, with the Amazon insights, you can also get uh, performance data uh, back from, uh, from your orders. And make rules based on that, for example, to boost your high performance or exclude uh, your low performing items. Sorry, Jochem, we are getting some questions uh, in the chat, so maybe uh, we can quickly address those. Yes, uh, is asking us if uh, this, this solution will only work for seller or also for vendor central? Uh, for both, yeah. For both, okay, for both, yeah. and uh, we, we have a health center article actually about uh, yes, that, indeed. The, the setup is a little different for vendors, but it does work. Yeah. Also, Thomas uh, was wondering if uh, they have on Amazon uh, an ad MCC where they got all their clients on 
and he's wondering if they can link their Amazon accounts on two different channel accounts. Um, I can't. I, yeah, I think so. Yeah, not hundred percent sure, but we can come back uh, after this uh, meeting to that. But yes, I think that's possible. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. And uh, one last question: uh, Is it possible to combine this tool uh, that we offer with Perpetua to create campaigns or manage the products in the campaigns? Asks Jerome. Yeah. So basically. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I didn't show the full like campaign creation part, so I'm doing that right after uh, the questions. But um, it also works in combination with, uh, for example, manual changes in uh, in Amazon, or if you um, use other tooling for, uh, for example, uh, the optimization part. So yeah, it can work together. Uh, you should only be careful that if you also use the automation part here, um, then um, yeah, you need to make sure that. Your rules don't clash with, with the rules that you set up, for example, in uh, tools like Perpetua. Perfect. Uh, then I think you can continue with the demo and uh, we can address some more questions afterwards. Sure. Yeah, so basically, um, here it actually starts like after selecting which, which products you want to advertise, um, you can create different campaign generators. And as you can see here, this looks a lot like uh, the schema I just, uh, just showed and presented. Um, with an automatic and multiple manual campaigns. Um, and what each of those uh, generators does is it creates, um, yeah, you can set it up yourself, but it can create multiple campaigns uh, for each for each product. And yeah, here you can basically choose, you can create a new one, choose between automatic and manual targeting. Um, let me first show you automatic generator to make it more clear within each uh, generator you can also again uh, add some rules for example uh, these kind of rules where you want uh, you normally want to spend 30 percent of your budget uh, on the automatic campaigns but when you have for example new products you want to spend 80 percent or uh, for your best sellers you want to focus more on manual campaigns so you don't really use the, uh, the automatic campaigns um, but then here it actually uh, is interesting. Here are the uh, campaign settings. Um, in an automatic campaign, you can, of course, only add uh, negative keywords. So uh, as you can see here with the different uh, types. And um, yeah, what's also important uh, when you ma manage a lot of uh, campaigns is that you keep your naming consistent. So what you see here is you can basically combine a static uh, values you can of course change and type with in whatever you want and add multiple um, dynamic fields so what it basically does in this campaign is that it creates one campaign for each uh, each of your products in here and you can basically add uh, more dynamic fields here as well so of course wrong um so switch back then um yeah again here you see, you can set a daily budget for each uh, for each individual campaign. Um, as you can see here, I made it dynamic based on the rules that I set uh, before. But you can also choose to do it like a manual and set a manual budget. Um, then here, basically, you have all the same settings as in, in Amazon. And here again, for the for the bids, you can either choose to make it uh, static or uh, dynamic again. And here, I also made uh, Made a dynamic based on the rule that you just saw. Um, yeah, and then as a final step, you have the, the preview that basically shows all the uh, campaigns created. But I think before I show that, it's also good to show uh, a manual campaign, for example, here, the exact campaign. As you can see here, the uh, manual targeting is selected. You can again choose rules, it's empty for now. Um, but uh, and then here in the campaign uh, settings, you can see that you can next to the negative keywords, you can also select positive keywords. And here I uh, choose the exact type. And I chose like uh, dynamic values here from which uh, from 
important keywords that show basically a high intent of uh, people that are interested in the product. And that's why I want to add them there uh, to the exact campaign. Um, really nice demo, uh, Jochem. Uh, I see some more questions popping up in the chat. Uh, so, for example, Rick was wondering if this works also for FBA products, so fulfilled by Amazon. I believe there's no distinction there, right? No, that should work uh, as well. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, also, Roots uh, left an interesting question regarding the rules. Uh, he says, uh, I see rules such as sales and profit. Are these organic and or sponsor sales? And is there a calculator to calculate the profit in Chanabu? Um, yeah, let me get back to that uh, at the end. And I can uh, go back to the rules. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's first finish this part and then I'll, yeah. I'll go back to the rules. Uh, Perfect. And yeah. last question, uh, is it possible to do ASIN targeting? I'll also get uh, to that. We will cover that in a bit, right? Yeah, we'll cover Perfect. That. Then uh, yeah. we can go ahead. Um, okay, yeah, so basically here in the, the preview, you see a result of, of all the, the ads, the ad groups, campaigns, keywords that uh, were created via Channel. Uh, and here you have the, the preview of that. You can see also the ad groups, which are different, the uh, a bit for each different ad group. Uh, same for ads um, and for keywords. And yeah, for example, here, there's also a nice example of uh, an error that you, that you get. Uh, as you can see here, your, this keyword can only contain a uh, maximum of four uh, different parts, while well, it has five. And we also show you like the, the action you can, uh, can take there to, to fix that. Um, so that's also one of the powers of the, the preview that you can actually filter on, on the errors that you get. Then yeah, after the uh, campaign setup, it gets uh, really interesting, I would say, because uh, I think also from the poll that we saw at the beginning, most people have a uh, challenge with the automation part. Um, and um, yeah, so I want to but we show this as well. And this is also something that's totally new to, to Janabal. Well, while the other rules are, uh, of course, already embedded in all the parts of the tool, the automation part is, is really something completely new and built. And what you can do here, um, starting with the keyword rules, you can basically get uh, performance data back from, uh, from Amazon on a keyword level. And what's also good to mention here is uh, for this whole functionality, this is included in the Amazon Ads offering. So there's no need for, uh, for Amazon Insights in there. Um, and yeah, as you can see here, you can get uh, these kind of uh, metrics back from Amazon. And based on that, you can select if uh, you can filter it. It's greater than, less than, uh, what kind of filters. And lastly, you can um, select the, uh, the then rule where you want to move the keyword, convert the keyword to negative or pause the keyword. And um, yeah, as you can see here, this one, I moved the keyword to another campaign generator that I created and I changed the match type to broad. Um, here I did something similar and here I created a negative keyword out of it. Um, I forgot to mention this. Um, but basically, when you select a set a new a rule group, you also need to um, yeah, choose your source campaign generator. For example, well, that here was the automatic source, so it gets the it only checks the automatic campaigns, um, and it moves uh, the keywords to, to uh, what you select here in the ten uh, rules. And you can also choose the date range to see like for uh, yeah how long. Um, yeah, should we check only the last seven days or should we check the last 30 days? And yeah, you can basically create as many of those uh, rule groups as you want. Uh, you can also uh, yeah, add the name, activate or pass them or delete it, of course. And what's also interesting here is that uh, 
in the right top corner, you see the amount of actions that those rule groups uh, uh, executed basically over the last 30 days. And when you click on it, you go to the change log and you see uh, actually like which actions that rule group uh, performed. And to make it transparent, if you click on one of those actions, you see the metrics that were uh, basically applied at the time that the, the rule was executed. And you see here which, uh, which rule um, that triggered the, the action. And yeah, of course, normally when you go to the, go to the change log, you see uh, all the actions that were, were executed. Um, are there any questions so far, uh, Paula? Yes, I see a couple more. Uh, let me check. So, Jeroen was wondering how is it possible that FBA listings can be advertised through Channable while FBA listings should be made through the seller central itself? Yeah, sorry, I think um, I didn't say that right. Um, no, I, th I think uh, even it's right that uh, it's probably not possible. Yeah. Okay. And um, Dennis was wondering how do they add uh, keywords uh, per product ads? Uh, keywords per product ad. Um, so at least right now, we only allow you to add the keywords in, in bulk. So for each uh, generator. And if you want to do uh, manual changes, uh, that's something that we currently don't support. So you can either do that in uh, Amazon yourself uh, or use another tool for that. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, it is possible to, to add keywords to campaigns that are created and managed by Genable, but uh, manual changes, we, we don't support that, at least not at the moment. Perfect. Uh, last one I see here is from Sven. He asks, in which scenarios is the analytics or order add-on required for Channable to automate the ads? Yeah, so that's uh, only only if you have, uh, back to the, the rules here, <coughs> for these specific, if you want to have these specific um, rules that trigger uh, insights, then right now the order connection is uh, required. Um, but we are basically, um, yeah, there is smart, we are, we are basically in Q1 of next year, we are um, yeah, improving that uh, feature that fits a bit better with, uh, within the Amazon Ads solution. Because right now it also only checks the, uh, the data uh, on an order level. Uh, so it also takes, for example, into account the amount of uh, organic sales that you have, and not just the uh, the ones that are resulted by by the assets you created. Nice, thank you, Jochem. I think you can keep going, and uh, every question that pops up, we can uh, address a bit later. Yeah, uh, was there one more question about the the, the insights uh, about insights? No, I don't think so. Okay. Then, um, yeah, I could mention um, for the people that uh, take had a good look at the um, the video, there are a few features uh, mentioned that we currently uh, don't offer, but that we are currently building. For example, the, the billing rules is something that um, we are currently working on, and also for the uh, the Asian targeting. Um, and ASIN, uh, the moving of, of ASINs and the bidding for ASINs, that's also something we are currently working on. Um, all right, um, then. Let's continue with the, the presentation and a few slides left. Um, yeah, this demo is, of course, uh, it's a rapid demo, but if you, we also launched our uh, Gen Academy uh, today. And in this Gen Academy, um, we have really nice courses 
uh, which really uh, so there are a lot of also beginners uh, in this in this chat, um, and I think it's uh, it's really nice to uh, understand the basics of advertising on Amazon, but it also goes into details uh, in how um, our solution uh, works. So I recommend checking that out. Um, for people that prefer reading, uh, we have a lot of um, help center articles that are also live now, um, where you can really see how each individual setting that I just showed uh, works. Um, and as mentioned, a few uh, uh, a few uh, features are still in progress, like the bidding rules, the agent targeting, the agent automation. Also, the general recommended mode and insights is uh, something we already planned for. Um, and yeah, next to uh, to Amazon Ads, we are also expanding uh, into older marketplaces uh, because we really see that a lot of uh, channels are now uh, introducing ads on top of their marketplace uh, offering. So the one that we already planned for and we already basically started with is, is Bull Ads. So it's a digital marketplace for the Internationals here in the chat, uh, but Ball is um, we planned it for end of Q1, beginning of Q2. Um, so also exciting, uh, excited about that. Um, and yeah, we're basically uh, yeah we're launching it uh, the features today, and based on the feedback that we get uh, and the features that are missing, we uh, are going to to plan the next features uh, after the ones that we planned here. So please do let us know if you have. Uh, if there are features missing and if you see any uh, yeah, optimizations. So there were the slides and the demo. Um, I see there are a lot of questions asked here. Uh, but I'll let you find some interest. Yes, yes, of course. Um, so Reinout was wondering uh, if it's also possible to manage uh, search terms or is it only keywords? Um, yeah, for the automatic campaigns, uh, indeed we call it keywords, but it are actually search terms. So I think we need to make it a bit more clear. Perfect. But for the automatic campaigns, it are indeed search terms. And also, Reinhardt was wondering if it's it's possible to import or connect, I guess, to current campaigns that are already created. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's possible. So basically, if you have to... <coughs> If you use the same um, right here, if you use the same naming for the campaigns, then uh, we take care of, of what's already. Of, we basically uh, take into account what's already set up. So also for the automation part, uh, let's say if you want to use the automation rules for campaigns that you created, you can just um, basically re of, um, create the campaigns here in general with the same naming, um, and then you can uh, apply those rules. For Thank you, Jochem. We also have one that says, does this solution work if you have arranged already the product listings on Amazon with another tool different than Chanable? Uh, yes, that works uh, as well. Yeah. yeah. So um, only thing that is important is um, we require like a unique ID per item. So uh, usually if you I'm not sure if it's here. Okay, I have it in this account, but if you use the API setup in uh, in Genable, then you can use the same ID that you're using there also in the in the ads tool. Uh, but if you um, manage it in another tool, then um, you can you can um, basically import some of the uh, IDs. We basically only need a list of IDs there. You can import them into Genable, and then. Uh, yeah, we can use them to, uh, to make your ads. Perfect. Uh, also, Diedrich was wondering if search terms reports, if art, if search terms reports are added to the keywords uh, automatically. Um... I'm not 100% sure if I get that question. OK, 
Okay, Tidrik, uh, maybe you can clarify a bit more in the chat. In the meantime, uh, we also got another question. What is your vision on the bidding tool that it's been yeah, currently developed? Yeah, um, so basically in, it, it will look quite similar to what we have here for the keyword tools, um, but then you can both uh, change the bits on an ad group, ad group level, but also on a keyword level. Perfect. Uh, Tobias was wondering if it would be possible to activate a demo channel with a rule set so that they can get ideas of what it's possible uh, to do and whatnot. Um, I think we already mentioned, right? That, uh, of course, you can open a trial account and, yeah, create. Yeah, so basically, everything I showed you, uh, you can already set up. The only thing that doesn't work here is if you uh, it's now it says deactivated because it's activated. But uh, yeah, normally it will say activate, and this button uh, you cannot press it basically if you're uh, on a free account. Yes, uh, Dennis uh, was wondering. Uh, he says uh, it's still a bit unclear where the keywords come from in the manual campaign. And how does the system choose which keywords are added to the campaign? Got it. So there are two things to understand there. Um, so basically, uh, here in the campaign creation part, you can create keywords dynamically at scale. Um, and this, those are also the ones that you will see here in the preview. But um, yeah, with the automation part, you can also, for example, if you have in your automatic campaign, if if, Genable, uh, if, if uh, Amazon is experimenting there with some, uh, some successful keywords, uh, then you set up a rule here that automatically move those keywords from an automatic campaign to a manual campaign, then uh, we will also, uh, yeah, those rules will, will do that for you. Okay, one that came in uh, right now is, uh, I think it was in order to clarify the Amazon search terms reports that uh, Diedrich was mentioning before. So uh, he mentions the Amazon search terms report shows brand owners how customers in aggregate find their, their and their competitors' products in the Amazon store. Um, so he was wondering yeah. so what was if, the question? If, yeah. if these search terms reports will be added to keywords. I like that. Um, we didn't plan for that, but um, yeah, I will note, note it down. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks, Idrik. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll also have your email address. Take so that into can, account. Uh, check with you. Yes. And I see one, uh, is the order connection mandatory to have if you want to use channel ads for Amazon? I think we touched upon that before as well, only yeah. if you want to, to gather certain metrics to use in the rules. Um, otherwise, uh, it's, it shouldn't be. Exactly, yeah. Okay, I think... Yeah, I think we've uh, addressed all the questions uh, for now. So um, let's, uh, let's let's round this up. Um, uh, if you think of anything else after the webinar, uh, please do not hesitate in reaching us directly. I saw some questions uh, asking whether if this webinar could be uh, replayed, you will receive uh, the uh, recording of the webinar afterwards, so uh, you can watch it back. And again, uh, thank you all for joining us today, and we really hope when you enjoy the webinar and are as excited as we are for this new functionality. So, hope to see you soon.
yeah, thanks everyone for joining.